Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how do I add algebraic fractions with exponents together. Now, when it comes to adding the fractions with exponents, what you want to consider is for you to be able to combine them, you have to be sure that the bases match and the denominators match. So for example, if you have a cubed over, let's just say, b squared plus 3a cubed over b squared, this is one of those situations where things are really straightforward because the bases and the exponents match, which is what you have to be sure about before you can combine anything, and the denominators match. Now here, what you can consider is you have 1a cubed plus 3a cubed is going to be 4a cubed, and then b squareds match, so you want to keep the denominator. Now if you have something like a cubed plus 3c cubed, and they both have b squareds, you can combine them and, t and because they have the same denominator, but you can't really combine the numerators because of the different bases, so you have no choice but to write them as separate terms, a cubed plus three c cubed, okay? Now if you have something like um, five a to the fourth over c cubed plus b squared over b to the fourth, you have a situation where the denominators don't match and the numerators don't match either, but because the denominators don't match, you have to find the least common denominator. So basically, this will take a lot more work than those two. So before you can add algebraic fractions with exponents together, you have to be sure that the denominators match and that the bases and the exponents also match before you can combine any terms whatsoever. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief tutorial on how do I add algebraic fractions with exponents together.